What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. Like I said, the auto shop life. So, if it's tools you came here to see, it's tools that I'm going to show you. I got to do a quick one here. I'd like to thank all the new subscribers to the channel. We're at uh, 13, 700 and still growing. Um, just got to mention too, if you guys are watching the videos, you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you guys get notified when I do these videos. Also, we will be doing a tool giveaway up and coming. Just trying to get things flowing again, get back into this, and uh, I got a few tools under my sleeve here that uh, we'll be giving away on the channel. We're going to get into this. Got uh, some side hammer action for you. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so getting into the slide hammers I use here at the shop, um, I've tried most of them. You know, I've picked up a slide hammer from Harbor Freight, you know, that was probably alright for a couple years, but you know, over the years, slide hammers, we're, we're using them to, you know, in the name, we're hammering on them constantly. Um, slide hammer, probably one of those tools where when I got to break it out, it usually means, you know, a job ain't going so well, but once I picked up, I got uh, I got a light duty one from Snap-on that I just picked up, purchased probably from a few weeks ago off the tool truck. We got one from Astro, the locking vice grips one, great tool. Uh, also just picked this one up. Could have definitely used this a week before I picked it up. And then our main OTC slide handler, we're gonna get in, dive down on what I call the office here so you guys get up close on these things, give you some part numbers, give you my thoughts on them. Let's go. All right, guys. So we're kind of scrunched together here, but uh, before we get into the Snap-on and OTC one, I got to talk about this uh, Astro one here. This uh, Astro Tools locking pliers. Now, you know we've all we've all pretty much used this. You know most slide hammer kits come with a little piece here where you could you know screw it onto the back of some vice grips, put it on your normal slide hammer, and it'll work. But what I like about this one is it's got a little pivot to it. So it's kind of nice, you get those weird angle ones, you know, getting down in there, trying to get the, you know, I'll use these things for pretty much anything, you know, anything I can grab onto, pulling axle, broken axles out, sensors if you can. Uh, mostly this one's what I'm gonna be using for sensors now, but you know, whatever you could wrap these teeth around and, you know, slide away on, it's gonna grab it and pull it out. And I definitely like, you know, the angle of it. You know, with that tool, you don't really have a necessary pivot or angle. It does have a two and a half pound slide on it. So, you know, once you get it on there, you got your slide action going. Pretty nice tool, definitely compact. Just pop it off with the click. It's got the little button on there, pull it off. You can get them apart. You can put it away just like that or, you know, put it back in the box. Definitely a great tool. This one, not too expensive. You guys check it out if you haven't seen it on a truck or if you think you need something like this. You know, this is definitely a time saver, definitely a lifesaver when, uh, you know, those stubborn, whatever it is, sensors don't want to come out, bearings, whatever you're using slide hammers for, for as far as advice grip goes, you know, it would be perfect. Also, you know, this tool is probably what makes this tool, slide hammer's a slide hammer, but this tool, is, you know, this part of it is probably what makes everything cool. But as you can see, even the vice grips got the part number on there. They look decently built. You know, chrome molly, I guess it's, uh, you know, the, the teeth aren't as strong. They are going to munch and crunch away and, you know, wear out the more you use it. But you could also replace it with a normal pair of vice grips if you had to. Like I said, this is the main piece here. Anything you could hook this onto, we could probably fabricate something like this on a slide hammer and uh, use it. But definitely liked it. Had to pick it up. Can't wait to try it out. Wanted to show you guys that one. I always like to read the box. You can see universal plural for locking into and hammering. Remove everything from cotter pins, old seals, and bushings. 
quick detachable swivel and it allows for adjusting locking pliers on subject and attaching slide hammer for removal and then threads into most common locking pliers like I had mentioned vice grips used over your existing tools as well so it's a nice universal tool you not only have to use the vice grips it comes with but like I had mentioned you you know screw that piece you know that main piece here that makes this tool the tool onto any existing vice grips or any tool you have and there you go you got the slide hammer action going on so getting to the next one from snap-on this one, this one I was looking at. Uh, you know, I'd have to say, when I finally did get it, there was multiple times that I needed it. I knew it's been out there, but just didn't want to break the bank and go ahead and buy it because, you know, like I said, these are one of those tools where uh, you hope you never need it, but when you need it, it's nice to have it. So Snap-on's calling this the 14-piece light-duty slide hammer puller set. Part number on that one, CJ93B. As in Brian, boy, biscuit. Um, but what comes in this, you got 14 pieces. It's got the little old plastic tray on it. You know, I noticed sliding this thing around in the drawers. You know, these parts are bouncing out of there and bouncing all around. Actually, when I bought it, I thought it had a couple missing pieces, but it was up under it. Like I said, this was sitting on the Snap-on truck for weeks and weeks and weeks. My Snap-on guy, thanks a lot, Reed, finally had me buy it. Did give me a great deal on it, but it's got all the goodies on it. A couple ones I like, you know, for the uh, pilot bearing. Pretty nice, get that in there, got a little spring action, get a hold of that, that'll screw on to there. Um, it does come with this tiny, you know, three, four jaw puller that you could set up on this apparatus. Probably another two and a half pound hammer slide for the slide part. And then plenty of machine oil on this one. But, you know, just assemble it, get the slide hammer action on there and then whatever one you'll need. Either the puller, it's got a little grabber for seals and tiny bearings and things like that. It's even got a little extractor that you could use for those maybe bro broken ABS sensors that like to break, kind of just gut them out, get this screwed in there, pull them off. Or those, uh, those Lexus oil actuators, you know, it'd be perfect for kind of screw them in there or the Hemi ones, perfect tool for it. Got all the little adapter pieces that you could use and all that stuff. Great tool pickup, I'd have to say, it is a little pricey, but you know guys, what coming from Snap-on isn't pricey. I guess it is what it is. I'll take the good with the bad. Some of the features on the box here, you got the uh, pressure screw, thread size 3 8 16, slide hammer 2 pounds, uh, puller jaw 2 inch range 3 8 to 7 8 uh, inner diameter reach 7 8 but uh, yeah, stud adapter, slotted puller attachment, there's all the stuff that comes right there on your screen. Pause it, read it if you want to. Nice little kit from Snap-on. It'll be worth the money. The tool will pay for itself before I die. Mark my words. All right, guys, last but not least here, we got my main slide hammer I use. This one is a replacement one. Probably only used it five or six times, and most of it's just for those front hubs, pulling off those front hubs. Maybe a stubborn uh, race that I or bearing that I had to use it on. Uh, nothing too crazy yet. It's not like I'm pulling dents with this thing yet, or I've happened to use a three-jaw puller. Uh, I don't even think I've used, ever used a three-jaw puller on a slide hammer, mostly for bearing work and things like that. Uh, but I'll use them for whatever I have to use them for. I'll adapt pieces, make pieces, do whatever I got to do to uh, get something out or get the job done. This one, OTC, they're calling it a Stinger Series, nine-way slide hammer. Stinger looks like it's getting thrown around a lot here. Uh, 4579 is the part number, but everything it comes with, you got the, uh, I think it's a five-pound slide here. Uh, my main one here, the front, front hub adapter you got your rear hub adapter here uh, the little coupler for the three jaw puller in here the bolts to hold it together you have your uh, piece that I had mentioned on the Astro tools this is you could use this for the vice grips or any other tool you could screw to here to put it on a slide hammer use it for a slide hammer action but it doesn't have the pivot on there like the Astro that's where that tool shines that's why I bought that tool that's why I like that tool. Here's a little coupler for the three jaw puller everything's pretty much in here you got your little dent puller for the screw don't know where that's at, maybe right here. There's the screw for the dent puller or whatever you're using that for. I'm not, as the work I do, I'm not really using it for that. I have used slide hammers to pull dents. 
but it's not like I'm doing much of customer's body work, at least around here, mostly my own. But slides great, gets the job done. Uh, little tip on these, throw your shoulder out. I mean, the older you get, you know, you, I try to do as less slide hammering as possible, but uh, you wrap a little rag around this and pull the rag. Instead of wrapping your hand around there, wrap a little rag and then pull the rag while you're slide hammering. Plus you get a good little more leverage out of it. Just a little tip out there. You guys, uh, some of you guys may have tried it or seen it before, but you know it's better than pulling out your shoulder. You could gotta get a better stance when you're slide hammering away. But great little kit by OTC. Guys, I'll leave the Amazon link to this one down in the description. I did not pay much for this. Like I said, it was a replacement to one where I think the threads stripped. I, I can't remember. I still got most of the kit because I could use you know, it's not like everything went bad in that kit. I still have the hub things. I still have the little race driver here that came in the other kit. But I think what happened with it is the uh, thread stripped out. So, but this one's a great one made by OTC. All right, guys. So I'm hoping you're sticking around for like my final thoughts on these tools and what I, the things I say at the end of these videos. A um, couple great, couple great pickup, tool pickups, I'd have to say. You know, the Astro, I haven't used too much, but I gotta say, you know, the Snap-on set, although it's pretty pricey, you know, it's something like this. If you could think of more than one reason to use a tool or you need a tool more than one time, you know, it's time to get it. And that's just kind of what happened with this tool. There was multiple times where I, you know, there, I, I was in a situation where I could have used this tool or could have helped me or made it to where a job was better than the way it turned out or faster than how it turned out and need it. So like I had said, guys, this tool will pay for itself. I will find uses for it. You know, the couple, just a couple, the pilot bearing tool that it has in there, I don't think I'm going to be using a tiny three jaw puller, but hey, if the problem arises and it's something that I'm going to need it for, I got the tool for it. So. You know, you guys out there, if you're not doing work like I am or think of reasons, might not be a tool for you. But definitely check out the Astro tools. Like I said, guys, I'll leave links in the description to the main OTC one and this Astro one. I'm pretty sure that you can pick it up on Amazon. They will be, links will be down in the description. You guys use the links, you're going to buy these tools. It helps out the channel. It helps me bring you guys more awesome content and things like that. Like I had said at the beginning, we will be doing a tool giveaway probably maybe in the next 30 days or so. Just working back into the groove of things, guys. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, get in on your chance to win, plus catch these new awesome videos that uh, we're rolling back out. As always, like, comment, subscribe to the JRC54 channel if you haven't, and we'll catch you in the next one. Signing out.